All right, I thought I would make a video on this project that I'm working on, this uh, cramps project. Um, I can't talk too much about it, um, but I'll, here, here's what I'll do. I'll make a video on, and, and I'll talk a little bit. I'll talk as much about, I'll talk as much um, as I can about it, and then when the release comes out, then I will uh, talk um, talk the rest of the way about it. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um so this is a um, a, a series. Uh, of, I'm doing like what is it? One, two, three, uh, six little mini prints that are going in a an official cramps release. Um, there's one for each member, and then one like band print. Um, this job came about when uh, and I did a story. If you go back to other videos, uh, a few videos back. Uh, most of them are rat fink videos, but this isn't a rat fink video. This is on um, this collaboration uh, bookmark sets that I do with um, Brian from uh, Kill Your Idols. So I kind of, this is like a quick review of that video. So um, first I did the shipping labels. I got them, you know, I got my address blocked out there. So I did, uh, and the reason I, I showed you these because, um, you know what, I just, I guess I didn't need to show you these. But here they are anyway. So this is where it started. I did these shipping, shipping labels. Um, Brian saw these. He liked them. He said, you know, he was like, hey, maybe we can do something. You know, these kind of look like bookmarks. Maybe we can do something uh, together. Brian um, writes these killer books. This is his, like, um, his book label. I want to I wanna all call it uh, Kill Your Idols. So uh, you got to check that out. Kill Your Idols. Definitely check it out. Check out Brian's books. They're incredible. So I did a series of, of bookmarks ba uh, based on his books. So um, so first was uh, was um, fucked up and photocopied, punk shirts, um, punk is dead, punk is everything, and set list. And these are actually double sided right here. So um, so you know the, these went over uh, these went over and are going over really well. Well. Um, the record label saw these that is putting this release out. So then this is how this came about. These little mini sets that will go in the, this release that is coming out. So that's where we're at right here. You know, so I make these, these videos so you can be like, you know, so maybe you could be like, well, you know, heck, heck I can do that or I would never do that or I'm glad I don't do it that way, or maybe I could do it that way, you know. So, however you want to take it. So he, here's um, here's what's going on for these mini prints. I have this piece of paper right here that that's like all gridded up. This so this is what size. Uh, this is the size the 10 by 20 stock I'm going to print on. That's what that represents. And then these are this is a clear piece of transparency right here. That I have taped down, and then on top of that, I have taped down these little individual uh, pieces of film. And each one of these pieces of film represents a color that I'm going to print. So this is what I have taped down here are the black films. I'm going to do two. Like I said, there's six different prints. I'm doing two sets of prints on each sheet. So you can you can see right there. I'm going to do you know do two of those and two of those and Two of those. So you can see that's, that'll be a full sheet that I'm printing. This is going to be a three color print. I'm going to print a fluorescent blue, a fluorescent magenta. It might be better to look at. A fluorescent blue and a fluorescent magenta and then a black over. Okay, so black holds most, most of the information so I line the black up first. So you can kind of get an app example. So if I, I get Brian over here, so like if I'm going to print, I can kind of get like it was kind of cheating like so that's what the print would kind of you know that's that's what the colors are going to look like so like laid over like that's what the black ink is going to look over look like over the blue and the magenta the um magenta over the blue makes a purple so you get like an extra little bonus color over there so that's what the colors are going to look out look like so um hope this is making sense so the next thing, and I really have like no idea like exactly what this is gonna look like until it's printed. 
I mean, I've printed enough to where I, you know, I basically have an idea, but like, let's take this for example. Like, I'm super stoked about this because I really don't know exactly how, how it's gonna print. First will be the blue. So this is the black. Um, like see, when I line this blue screen up there, like this blue film, and and like, like these veins, they might turn out kind of gross which is gonna be pretty cool. And then see, I got this, this bloodshot eye and I gotta like line that up. So what I'll do is, um, the, the next step here, since I have all the black lined up, I'll lay a, another clear transparency over this and tape it down. And then I'll just line my uh, blues up and tape those down over there. I hope that makes sense. I'm sure it does. And then I'm gonna shoot. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print. Cause this, you know what? This may be not even be interesting at all. So this is what it looks like when I, when I get ready to print. I'm getting ready to print the first color. This is the blue. This is the uh, black uh, films that I showed you yesterday. Did I show you this yesterday? I think I showed you me. Showed me. I showed you yesterday when I was uh, piecing artwork together. That's the laundry going over there. This is the print shop, and uh, it's in my garage. So please ignore that, whatever that noise is. Uh, well, that noise is the... Uh, what is it, uh, laundry going? So I'm printing uh, three colors. It's gonna be a fluorescent blue, fluorescent magenta, and then a uh, black. It's all Speedball brand uh, inks, uh, water-based uh, uh, poster inks, uh, acrylic poster inks. So, um, and they're all, except for the black. The the fluorescent, fluorescent inks, they're uh, pretty transparent. So um, when I lay down the blue, and then I put the magenta over it. The uh, magenta going over the blue will create like a purple. And you'll see what that looks like because I'll show you um, what the colors look like in between. But I'm going to go ahead and print this. It's like 4 in the morning. I'm trying to beat the heat uh, so it's not too uncomfortable to print in here as I go. It, it really won't take me that long to print. But I need to quit the jibber-jabber and start printing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start printing. All right, I've already started printing the second color. I wanted to pause for a minute to show you um, what the second color looks like. So this is the first color. Um, that is the uh, Speedball Magenta, the fluorescent magenta. So uh, this is what uh, I was talking about, how the uh, fluorescent magenta over the blue makes the purple. Um, I don't, why don't I not, I don't have a hand for it. Okay, so... You can see how, uh, you know, there's the blue and then, you know, there's the magenta right there. Uh, you can't really tell because my finger is so fat, it's covering everything up. But um, you can see that purple right there. That's the third color you get. Um, things are starting to, uh, you know, like come together. Um, you see Brian, like that's pretty much complete right there. Um, the black will really bring it all together. I really don't know how I'm going to get these off of here. Um, you know, like, like when I pull the paper off, you know, I, I need to have like a dry spot to, to pull the paper off. When I print this black, there's so much coverage. I'm going to have to find a place to pull it off. It's going to be tricky. But anyway, uh, I should have thought that out a little bit better. But uh, that's what I got so far. I need to keep printing. I know it's kind of, it might be hard to hear because I had the fan on right there kind of circulating the air. Because it's starting to get a little sticky in here because um, it was kind of hot already. I've kind of turned into my grandfather. I remember I uh, used to get up early and go, like, do stuff because he'd be like, you know, he'd want to be done working at, like, 11 o'clock. So we'd have to get up at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning to go work. And I've turned into him, which now I understand, which makes totally perfect sense. So there's a little story early in the morning. All right. I need to keep printing. Okay, I'm printing the black. Those are the two colors. Here's the black screen. Speedball Pro Black. All right, here it is. Um, man, I, I love it all together. It's, it's just such a like cool print, it's like just the uncut sheet. Uh, it, it's I'm real happy with it. Um, each one of these prints, it's it's it, it's different. Like the way, like if you saw, in, like the way I did the films, like you saw the way I did the films. So um, you know, there's two prints. You know, like if you look at Brian's, like so, there's two Brian's per. You know, there's two, what am I trying to say? There's two prints per sheet. Uh, golly, you know what I'm trying to say. So, but they're each different because of like the way that, 
you know, it's like it's offset just a little. Some of them even run off the page because the paper is a little bit wonky in the way I registered. Each one's a little bit wonky, but that's just like the way it's, it, it's just the way, the way I register. It, it's also my aesthetic. Um, so much of the way that I design, it, it, it's almost like my lack of skills or, or just, um, not, not so much lack of skills. It's just, I don't know. It's my aesthetic is, um, heck, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I, I'm just happy with, with this whole turnout. Uh, this, except this, this thing is like super creepy. Um, it, it, I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm just real happy with the way they came out. It's going to take a little while to cut these. I'm going to have to get my mom over here. She is so good at cutting these out. So um, I'm, it's going to be funny. I'll have to take uh, a picture of my mom cutting. It's just funny that uh, my mom's going to be over here cutting out cramps, little mini prints, and then we'll actually go into cramps release. So if you're a cramps fan and you get this release, just know that my 75-year-old uh, mom, who is a ballerina, um, will be cutting out these cramps and she'll just be like, Oh, I'm so proud of my son. I don't know who the cramps are. Eat poison, ha! Huh? That, that's just the way she is. She's just so proud of everything I do. Hopefully she won't read into it or, um, I don't know. I'm just rambling. I, I need to keep printing. So that's it. All the printing's done. Now it's just cut them out time. Um, so I think the best thing to do right now, and I'll probably cut them out. It'll be a million different ways until I figure out exactly right what's best now. Um, I got like this safety ruler. Um, right now I'll probably just cut them with the um, X-Acto, just cut them out long ways and then just take scissors and just cut the short, like cut them like that. Um, but I'm real, cause it, you know, it, it doesn't really matter if they're a little bit wonky um, nothing's really square. Nothing really print is ever really square. They're all, like I said, a little bit different. There's variations in each, in each print. Um, but this whole project is, is, um, I'm, I'm really proud of it. I'm, I'm so happy. I never thought in a million years that I would be doing something like an official, uh, cramps release, like approved by the record label, and this release is something super, super special. And whenever it comes out and like closer to like, like the release date and when I actually have it in hand and I can talk more about it and, and, and show you the full release, um, I'll do so. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Uh, the best place to like, like keep up with this kind of stuff if you're interested is to follow me on Instagram at Jim H. Madison. Um, have a good day.